Hi and welcome to the beginner tutorial. I am Elisa, co-founder of Do Nails, and in today's video I am going to show you on how to do your do nails. Don't be scared, this video is very detailed as we want the best first results for you. As the first time with nail polish, it needs of course a little practice and a feeling for your application. So please don't give up after your first try. But now, let's get finally started. First, take the cuticle pusher and gently push back your cuticles. Now, take the fine side of your file and file your nails into your desired shape. It is important to hold the file upright against the edge of your nails to file. To prevent chipping, it is also important to rogan or mat the surface of the nail with a file or a buffer. Next, you need to dehydrate your nails before applying the powder. Simply apply a generous layer of Do Nails Primer to the nails and let them dry for about 2 minutes. Quick tip! Please do not apply any oil or creams before the application. Make sure to do the dipping application under good light, away from sunlight for the best results. Now we start with the dipping powder application. Three coats in total are essential for perfect results. This means always apply the base coat in combination with the powder three times. We start with the first layer of base coat with base powder. You can also use any color powder instead of the base powder. We take the first nail and apply a thin layer of base coat with one or two coats. This step doesn't have to be perfect, here you have to be quick. Then gently dip the whole nail into the powder at a 45 degrees angle. You can lightly brush off the excess powder with the fine black brush. Now you can repeat this step on the rest of the nails. Quick tip, be careful not to paint your cuticles, otherwise liftings will form under the layers and cracks and chipping will happen more quickly. Next, apply a thin layer of base coat, then dip your nail into the color powder at a 45 degrees angle. It is also important not to paint the cuticles and to work your way through nail by nail. Quick tip, it is very important to always remove the excess powder with the brush. If the brushes of the respective liquids come into contact with the powder, the liquids may stick together and the brushes may become hard. In addition, the surface of your dipping layers on the nails will become dull and uneven. Before you put the brushes of the liquids back into the bottle, you can easily clean the brush on a paper towel to save the liquids. Repeat this step with the color powder for beautiful coverage and color intensity. Now apply a gentle amount of activator coat. The activator coat is the most important step in the application and guarantees long-lasting beautiful nails. The activator coat also hardens the layers and makes them resistant to cracking or chipping. You apply the activator coat to the entire surface of the nail, not forgetting the edges and the tip. The motto here is more is more. You can also dip twice into the liquid and brush over it twice. The activator coat is not harmful to your cuticles, so don't worry, you can also paint over your cuticles. Now let the activator coat dry for at least 2 minutes. Before you put the activator coat brush back into the bottle, I recommend that you always clean the brush with a paper towel. Quick tip, to check if the activator coat is completely dry, simply take the cuticle pusher and tap the tip lightly on the surface of your nails. If you hear a click, it's time to shape and buff your nails. 
When the activator coat is completely dry, you can now use the fine side of the file to shape your nails into the desired shape and thickness and remove all unevenness and impurities. The resulting dust can be easily removed with the fine black brush. To seal the filed and polished surface and protect it from liftings, apply another generous coat of activator coat. Again the motto is more is more. Again you can dip twice into the bottle and apply two coats per nail. Then let the activator coat dry for at least two minutes. Before you apply the top coat, it is very important that the activator coat has dried completely. If the top coat comes into contact with the hardening activator coat, the top coat will be hardened, the brush will become hard and the liquid in the top coat will stick together. In addition, the top coat cannot be applied nicely to the nails and the result becomes dull and sticky. To be on the safe side, after 2 minutes you can wipe the surface of nail with a small paper towel so that there is no more activator coat left. Now you can apply a thin layer of top coat evenly with 2 to 3 quick coats. Let the top coat dry for at least 2 minutes. To avoid sticking the neck of the bottle, I recommend always wiping the brush on the same side of the rim. After the 2 minutes, you can apply another thin layer of top coat. Again, it is important to apply only a thin layer at a time so that the result does not look thick or uneven. After approximately 2 to 3 minutes, the top coat is dry. For the perfect finish and all-round package, I recommend you to apply the Dunail Snail and Cuticle Oil. So that's it with the tutorial. I wish you a lot of fun with Dunails and please take a look at our Facebook Dunails community group where thousands of Dunails dippers exchange beautiful nail designs and help you out with tips and tricks. For questions, we are always happy to help you. I can't wait to see your do nails.